Born on April 1, 1776 in Paris, France, Sophie Germain grew up during the French Revolution, a very chaotic time. Since she couldn't go to school, Sophie taught herself math from books in her father's library. She loved the story of Archimedes and read works by Euler and Newton. Sophie used the fake name Monsieur Leblanc to communicate with famous mathematicians because women weren't taken seriously in academics. Sophie wrote to the great mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss using her fake name. When Gauss found out she was a woman, he was very impressed by her courage and talent. Sophie worked on Fermat's last theorem, which was a big mystery in math. She made important progress, especially for the case when n equals to 5. A prime number p is a Sophie Germain prime if 2p plus 1 is also prime. For example, 11 is a Sophie Germain prime because 2 times 11 plus 1 equals 23 which is also prime. Sophie won a big prize from the Paris Academy of Sciences for her work on elasticity, which helps us understand how materials stretch and bend. Her work on elasticity was important for building the Eiffel Tower, even though her name isn't on the list of people honored for it. Sophie also wrote about philosophy and was respected by thinkers like Auguste Comte. Sophie kept working on math even after she got breast cancer in 1829. She passed away on June 27, 1831. Sophie got a medal from the Institut de France and was the first woman to attend lectures at the Academy of Sciences. Despite this, her death certificate said she had no profession. Although many scholars' names are on the Eiffel Tower, Sophie's name is missing because she was a woman. Carl Friedrich Gauss once said, Sophie Germain proved to the world that even a woman can accomplish something in the most rigorous and abstract of sciences and for that reason would well have deserved an honorary degree. Thanks for watching. See you next time.